hi folks and a warm welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are looking at the Sega Design X series, a new watch from China based company Sega Design and as you can see it's an interesting one. Uh, if you are new here today please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really does help support the channel and hit the bell icon while you're at it and you will be notified of any new videos I make. So without any further ado let's get into the review. So this, as mentioned, is the new X series from Sega Design. Now Sega Design uh, came to the forefront a couple of years ago uh, with another model called the Z series, uh, which was a slightly more uh, rectangular, smoothed off rectangular shaped watch, still skeletal, and they were a successful crowdfunding project for the Z series. In fact, it was very successful. Uh, and they did very, very well with it. This is their brand new model. This is the X-Series Great Ape. Uh, now, this particular one is available in two case materials. You have the titanium version, which is what this one is, and you also have a stainless steel version. So, let's talk about price for this one. So, this one is available on their UK website for £299.99, so £300, uh, which is equivalent to approximately $415. US dollars. So, it's a fair chunk of money, um, but as we're going to discuss, I think there's a ton of innovation with this one, and it is uh, well worth a look. So, let's go into the dimensions. So, we have a square design, as you can see. So, we are 44 millimeters across and up as a square. Uh, we have 11.8 mil of thickness. We have a lug distance of 22 millimeters. And we have an actual lug to lug distance of 48 millimeters. So, nice, uh, nice dimensions there. The weight on this one, uh, this being the titanium version, you get two supplied straps with it. Uh, on the nylon strap, it's only 64 grams, incredible weight. And on this supplied silicon rubber, it's 78 grams. So it really is an extremely wearable weight. So uh, packaging for this watch. Um, I will put up some photos I took of the packaging. The packaging on this one is absolutely superb. I was very impressed with it. Uh, it comes in a Sega Design branded outer cardboard box. Inside that you have a Sega Design box with the logo embossed on it and the watch face embossed on it. Um, and it's a book design. You slide off the second sheath there and you have a book affair. You open up the front page and as you can see you've got a list of specs there uh, with a little peephole previewing the watch. When you open that up you're faced with the watch and two straps along with some more information. Uh, it really, really is a lovely design, something a bit different. Uh, and when you open it up further, there's instructions on the back and then some information uh, about the watch's designer when you delve further in. So I actually really love the packaging. Uh, stupidly, I'm a sucker for watch packaging. Um, I think uh, it does say something about a watch and how it's perceived and how it's been thought out. And I think this single design packaging is lovely. Uh, it's also nice to see there's no plastic being used. It's all paper, cardboard based stuff. Uh, so really environmentally uh, friendly these days, which is nice to see. So back to this. The case on this watch is quite an innovation. Um, there's a ton to look at. As you can see, we have the inner square case and then we have this outer square case. Now this is part of the innovation of this watch. It actually features a suspension system. So the entire case and outer structure are grade 2 titanium. Uh, so it's a really nice, uh, really friendly material to wear on your arm. Uh, it also features this suspension system. Now Sega Design call it the uh, four angle anti-shock system. And it is, these four screws have actual springs in them. I don't know if I can show you but... Uh, you can just see the springs there and they are independent on each corner <laughs> which is really really cool you can see the watch uh, it moves up and down it takes some pressure it moves up the way as well and it's just I've never really seen that before uh, and it's really really innovative it's really really smart uh, they call it a way of 
completely stabilising the movement and making it rugged and tough. I'm not so sure how tough that would be with that vast expanse of crystal front and back. But regardless, I think it is a really, really nice design. It's been really well thought out and executed, I have to say. Uh, it's not squeaky or anything like that. It's really smooth. Uh, the amount of pressure it takes is... Um, really really well thought out as well so i love that feature and of course it adds to the overall design of the watch as well uh, the top of the suspension springs if you like are topped by these uh, four blued hex screws uh, these hex screws are echoed throughout the case design holding on these blue accented pieces the full crown guards and of course the bottom of the suspension struts there so yeah, the case is really really nice, it's really different um, and I like that, you know, when you deal with a lot of watches you don't really see that level of innovation every day uh, and it's one of the things that drew me to buying this one. Another really nice feature uh, about the case is the level of finish. So as you can see, uh, I'll pop up some pictures, as you can see the case finish itself is a sort of dull, uh, almost a uh, bead blast stroke brushed titanium uh, but within that you have these really nice accents of high polish and they're very small um, but as you can see running along the side of the case it's just highlighted there uh, in a high polish finish and it looks fantastic uh, it really does look fantastic uh, as you can see it just catches the light here and there depending on the lighting that you've got the watch in uh, and it just works really well. It's just a really nice, pleasing to the eye detail uh, that seems to work. It's also present on the edge of the crowd. I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, that's got a high polish edge to it as well. So another really nice detail. So crystals on this one. Front crystal is a lab grown sapphire, which is 1.2 millimeters thick. It's really nicely integrated into the case. Uh, it doesn't overhang, it's completely flush all the way round. Looks fantastic. The rear crystal shown off the movement further is just mineral, but then again, that shouldn't get much wear against your skin. Uh, and let's talk about that movement. That is um, really what the watch is showcasing, uh, and it is fabulous. Um, it is Sigur Designs, they call it the CD01. Uh, and this is a fully skeletized movement, as you can see. Uh, and it is supported by this overall X structure. That is what supports the entirety of the movement. Everything screwed and bolted to that. Uh, and it just looks fantastic. It's very, very striking. Uh, and they have went to some lengths. I'll show you some macro shots of the footage. Um, you can see the nice touch about it, as you can see the mainspring, whether it's fully wound. You can see the individual cogs. You can see the balance assembly there uh, is uh, quite open. And in fact, the balance itself is just held with uh, one single cog and one screw. So it's, it's really nice. It's really well executed. Uh, and it takes the skeletal nature of it to the extreme. Um, but it's really well done. Uh, during the macro photography as well, you'll see that the finishing of the movement is also nicely executed uh, this particular one uh, is color coded blue so you've got the titanium finish with the blue x the blue side accent the blue accent on the crown and of course those hex screws as well uh, so it's a nice touch so let's talk about the loom then so the loom on this one is swiss super luminova uh, now it being a skeletal watch it's not a dive watch uh, but it being a skeletal watch you can see uh, the loom accents on the tips, uh, the arrowhead tips of the hour and minute hand there. Um, and there's also loom inlaid into this X structure. Um, and when, you, when it lights up, it does actually really nicely. Um, the uh, You can still tell the time uh, through to the, the, because of the hour and minute hands being loomed. Uh, the second hand doesn't have any loom, but that's okay. Uh, and it's just nice that they've went to that extent uh, of looming the X. Uh, I think it looks really nice and the loom itself performs absolutely fine. Uh, as you can see in the normal video footage it is starting to glow a little bit just with the light from the window. 
Uh, so yeah, really nice. It's nice that they've went to the extent of adding some loom to allow some, uh, you know, actual dark visibility of being able to tell the time. It's a nice touch. And the Lumina the X is just a nice uh, highlight of that design feature. Also, this comes with a couple of straps, as you'll have seen during the packaging. So this is the rubber strap. So it's branded, as you can see, Sigur Design. Uh, it's also got Sigur Design on the buckle. Uh, and it's lovely. It is really, really nice. It's really supple. Uh, and it's really, really comfortable. Uh, it has the quick release spring bars as well. Um, and yeah, I've been wearing it on this one. It comes with uh, uh, an additional blue strap um, that was bought with it. Uh, and again, it's nice enough. It matches the blue perfectly, but it's just a bit too much blue for me personally. Uh, I prefer a little bit more subtle. Uh, I think the blue and all the accents is enough personally. Uh, but it's nice to have. It's a nice touch. Uh, and it just is something else that adds to the watch's appeal, I think. Um, so what are my final thoughts on this? I've worn this, uh, well, I actually bought this uh, out of curiosity. I wasn't too sure how it would look, how it would perform. I've had a few skeletal watches over the years, uh, including a few cheapies from China. Uh, I'm talking 30, 40 pound cheapies, uh, and they are pretty poor. The movements are rough. Uh, they generally don't last very long. Uh, and there hasn't been a lot of thought put into them. This, however, after wearing it for a few days, like I said, it was a bit of a curiosity. I bought it to see what it was like. I liked the design. I liked the look of it. Uh, I bought it to see how it would look and perform in real life. And after living with it for a few days, like wearing it constantly, I really, really like it. Uh, I, I think Sigur Design have been super bold, super creative, um, there's lots of innovation in there, there's lots of uniqueness in there and it's one of those watches that when you put it on and you look at your wrist uh, you can't help but actually smile, it's really really well executed uh, there's also a really uh, well executed method of telling the time on this one uh, I'll pop a picture up, you can see these uh, indentations in the case there um, when you've got these indentations either side and if you go to the extreme of the indentation there, so that would be the triangles 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. And that's how you point out where the hours are, um, which is a really nice touch. <laughs> Obviously, this isn't the kind of watch that one would purchase if you were predominantly concerned with super accurate time, because there's no minute marker track um so you know like for example in this shot this minute hand is pointing exactly to the four uh there's the five and there's the six so you know that it's 20 past the hour which i just think is a really nice touch it just shows the amount of level of thought that's been put into it uh, and i think that's echoed around the entire watch um, from the way it's been finished the way it's been constructed the way everything works and like I say, the nice thing about it is every time you look at it, you find another little detail that you've not picked up on or that just highlights because of the light. Uh, and the movement is genuinely really nice. It's finished a high standard. Uh, so, yeah, I think um, kudos to Sega Design. Uh, they deserve um, a pat on the back for this. Uh, they have won many awards for it. Uh, you'll see inside the packaging. Uh, that they've won various German Red Dot Awards. They also won um, the Swiss Award for the first time, uh, which has never been awarded before to a Chinese company. So um, it just goes to show that their innovation uh, has been noticed as well. So, yeah, uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. Uh, if you're on the fence with this one, I would suggest that you pick one up. I, 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 can't, I can't recommend it enough. I think it's, um, it's a bit of a revelation, this one. Like I said, this was the titanium and blue version. Uh, there, there's another titanium version in black and gold colourways. And there's various different colourways for the stainless steel versions. The stainless steel versions are slightly cheaper. Uh, I think they come in about £30, about $50 cheaper. Um, so yeah, 
uh, I would highly recommend this one uh, if you're looking for something different. Uh, bear in mind you would have to like skeletal watches and um, like the overall look of it, but yeah, uh, I was really positive about this one and the more I wore it, uh, the more I actually really liked it. So yeah, so you can make up your own mind about that. Uh, it was lovely, I thought it was really nice and well done. And uh, I would be really looking forward to seeing what Sigur Design can come out with in the future uh, and seeing their future models. So thanks very much for watching and if you liked the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I will see you in the next review.